everyone, this is a quick video to show you how to save an Excel file as a PDF in MacBook. So here I have a column chart using the information in column B and column C. Now before you hit print or before you save as a PDF, you will need to set up the page. So in your left hand corner where you see file, we're going to select page setup. Since I have a lot of information horizontally, I'm going to select landscape and fit to one pages by one pages. So one page wide and one page tall. So this will make sure that the information fits on one page. And here you have other options as well. You can play around with the margins, top, left, right, and you can also insert headers and footers. Then we're going to click on OK. So here under file, I'm clicking on print. I don't really like what I'm seeing here because all the information is on the left side of the page. You can also make changes by selecting the options from here. You can select your paper size. You can also decide whether you want to print the active sheet or the entire workbook. Entire workbook basically means if you have five sheets, everything will be printed. You can also play around with the margins and you can also change the orientation from here. So what I'm going to do is go back to your sheet and this chart we're going to place it on a new sheet so this is very easy to do you're going to click on the chart press and hold the control key right click and select move chart here we're going to select a new sheet click on ok so now in your excel workbook you'll see two sheets one is the data and the second is the chart now let's go ahead and do a page setup so file page setup for the table let's just leave it at portrait fit to one page is wide and one page tall click ok let's do a check on the chart sheet file page setup for the chart we're going to select landscape now we're going to click on file print so this is how i like my chart to look like it all the details are much more visible than how we had it earlier notice here is saying one of one meaning it's only going to print this page so we can select print entire workbook now we're going to see the table which was on the second sheet once you have made your selection select entire workbook you need to make sure that you print the entire workbook and you have to make sure that the information displayed is visible next you're going to click here where it says pdf and select save as pdf then you can select where you want to save it i'm going to leave mine on desktop but you can specify any location you want give a name for your chart and click on save once your pdf has been created make sure to do a double check so this is how my pdf looks like